Hey, it's Brian with the Midnight Mechanic. When you're installing a clutch in your car, you need to make sure that you're using the correct fasteners and installing them the correct way. Now, on our LS1, we're installing a new LS7 clutch on it along with a new flywheel. Now, we're gonna use the ARP flywheel bolts and we'll show you how to install them correctly. Obviously, before we install our bolts, we need to install our flywheel. This hole right here on the crank lines up with this hole on the flywheel. We're just gonna set it on and get those aligned. Now that it's aligned properly, we can go ahead and install our bolts and torque them in the correct sequence and to the correct specs. Now that we have our flywheel on, all the bolt holes are lined up, we're gonna go ahead and install our fasteners. We're gonna use these ones from ARP. You can get them from the factory as well, but these ARP ones are a little bit stronger. It comes with this assembly lube that you actually put underneath the head. We'll show you how to do it, and it helps keep them locked down. Here's the difference in a flywheel bolt for a manual and a flex plate bolt for an automatic. You can see right here, this is the flex plate bolt and see how it does not have that little collar that this one has. That collar sits in the flywheel and helps it center up and keep it even tighter. We're going to go ahead and install the new flywheel bolts now. The way we do this is with this assembly lube that comes with the ARP bolts. What we're going to do is put it around the back side of the head and then we're going to use some 242 blue thread locker on the threads to keep it in there and make sure that it doesn't back out. We have all our bolts in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and torque them down to the correct specs. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna do it in four different sequences. We're gonna do it 15, 37, 74, and finally we're gonna do it 85 foot pounds. That's what you do it with these ARPs. If you're using factory ones, you can stop at 74, but the ARPs require you to go all the way up to 85, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do it in a cross pattern like you would putting a set of wheels on your car. As you start to tighten it more, it's gonna to wanna to rotate the engine. Put a screwdriver in here that bottoms out. Don't put it in the hole with the threads. Put it in the hole that doesn't have any threads because you don't wanna mar those up. So go ahead and put that in there so it butts up against it and then you can go ahead and continue torquing it. It's all tightened down. You just need to make sure you get any grease off of it that has been left on there because you do not want it to get on the flywheel surface and ruin your clutch. So we're just gonna get a rag and clean it off. Flywheel's on, good ARP bolts. If you're using factory bolts, you don't need to use the grease, but you do need to use the Loctite. If you're replacing your flywheel, we recommend replacing the flywheel bolts. It's cheap insurance. Now that we have this done, we can go ahead and get the clutch on and the pressure plate on and work on getting this engine in the car finally. If you have anything else you'd like to learn about, any other tools you'd like to see, post down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Midnight Mech, TikTok at The Midnight Mechanic. Check our other page out, Third Pedal Engineering, and we'll see you guys next time.